world, this is Dennis, and forgive me for using this uh, crappy cam, but I have nothing else to use for shooting outdoors yet. But I want to show you my new antenna setup. Um, I've been kind of playing around with uh, where to put the wires for the dipole. Um, I know ideally they're supposed to be up at the same length, one going in one direction, one going in the other, but... Um, with the setup I was using, it wasn't quite working out because um, where I am out in the front of the <coughs> excuse me, front of the um, yard, there's less noise. Whereas um, going back the other way um, to the back of the yard, um, I noticed that there was more noise. I uh, had one of my portable radios out here, and I was uh, checking the noise levels, and it was noisier out that way. So, what I'm trying out here is, um, I got the two wires going from the, uh, the feed point going to this um, post here at near the end of the, um, the front yard. Now let me try zooming it back a little bit, hopefully you can get an idea what this looks like. And yes, I actually have the camera on the tripod this time, so hopefully this is a little bit smoother. Um, but the wires start here at this post, which is about, let's say, about four feet off the ground. And then the, the wires start going up. Forgive me if this doesn't look right because I can't quite see how it looks on the viewfinder here. Um, I got the two red flags here so the uh, mailman doesn't uh, clothesline himself. But the... Uh, Wires go up into the tree here, and let me zoom back here. Oop, wrong way. No, that's not the way I wanted to go, stupid camera. Okay, so let me see if I can find the coax here. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know. I don't know if you can see that, but the uh, that's where the coax is going up into the tree. Let me try zooming in, see if you can see it. Okay, that would be the coax, and that's going up into the tree about, I want to say, 15 feet off of the ground. So, that is the current setup with my antenna. And, I don't know, so far I'm liking the results. Um, I didn't do a whole lot of testing last night because so I, I, uh, I popped in Fallout 3. And I'm addicted to that game because I can waste a lot of time playing it. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try to do some more testing of this antenna today. So uh, let me know what you think of the uh, setup. And as always, good gravy, peace, and all that good stuff. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a supplement to the video. Um, I'm still not quite sure if everything showed up properly, so I'm going to draw you a picture so you can get a better idea how things look. So, uh, let's see here. Okay, so this direction, you know, from here to here, this is from south to north. Um, the center of the screen here, that'd be facing west and obviously in the other direction would be east. So we're going to have our tree here. La 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 la. A happy little tree. Okay, so going out to the tree. We've got the uh, coax and like I said this is a about 15 feet off the ground and um, let's see here this is um, where you know um, the center insulator is for the dipole you got one end here for the wire and one hand here for the other wire then you got your coax which is you know going down to the porch which eventually goes to my window and uh, goes to the jumper and then that comes inside here to my Radio Shack, uh, but anyhow, 
um, from the center insulator we've got one wire off of here and then the other wire off of here and that's going down let's see here to our post here which like I mentioned in the video is about you know four feet off the ground um, let's see here and then each end here is um, connected with a insulator and the length of the wires here I would say probably about 30 35 feet long um, surprisingly enough when I originally threw the thing up I um, I didn't measure the wires but uh, yesterday when I was uh, playing around with this I kind of um, put them together and you know ran them through and each one is a uh, pretty close um, to each other in length um, so that's the current antenna setup uh, like I mentioned in the video this is going out into the front lawn here where I noticed using my portable radios um, there's less interference um, here let me, uh, let me guess here um, to the south where it's um, going in this direction here to the north um, where the wire um, this wire here was originally going um, that was in between um, our house and the neighbor's house and I was suspecting it was picking up the interference from the houses now yet again I know this is not a perfect setup this is a a oops a compromise <laughs> <laughs> Spill it out here real quick. And, you know, like I said, this is not ideal, but um, I am getting, you know, less interference and I am picking up signals, which, you know, is a plus. It's not perfect and I can probably improve on this. I'm going to have to do some reading on how I can uh, make this a little bit better. I'm kind of toying around with the idea of um, maybe going with an inverted V antenna setup. Um, I just gotta work out the details of how I would set that up because you know I only have so much uh, space out here in the lawn um, out front where there is uh, less noise. Um, so that's the current setup. As always, any critique and comments is uh, greatly appreciated. And as always, peace and all that good stuff.